said it was silly to cram your bits and bites into small spaces. Oh hi folks, I'm Nicole Knight. And on today's Sexy Guide 2, I'm going to teach you how to install a SATA hard drive. All of these photos... Hmm. She's more flexible than me. And gangs. Soon adds up. One of the many ways to remedy this is to purchase and install a hard dick. What? You got me stab in here naked? For what? I don't want to know about no technological issues. I'm sat here naked and we ain't got to no foreplay yet. Hard drive. Sorry, baby, I don't mean to get all oh, red in your ear. But what I'm trying to tell you is I ain't no puppy. I'm like Pinocchio, if you know what I mean. Blech. Alternatively, you could use external portable hard drives or go directly to DVD. But today I'm going to do an eternal upgrade. Wait, hold up, stop. This video concentrates on SATA hard drives. If you want to install a PATA hard drive, you can go. Go far, far away. Me no one no pata that. Girl, girlfriend. Stop doing this to me, guys. You're making me look like a fool. You think that they got that joke? Oh, babes, I think it was amazing. It's really funny. Oh, professional. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just had a moment earlier. But seriously, if you want to install the pata version, click here. Now I can sit here all day and yak yak. <laughs> on and on and get really <laughs> on your ass about hard drives. But I'm not. And I won't because I'm busy. And I've already created a video for that entitled <laughs> Loser. Hmm? Hmm? Instead, I'll get straight to the point. SATA drives are just like me. Pretty, straight, and forward. Here's your hard drive. Here's your data cable. Here's your power cable. Before you start fingering inside your computer, remember to turn the power supply off. <laughs> Always ground yourself to limit ESD. That means either using an anti-static wrist strap Attach it to the chassis or continue tapping the power supply. As you can see, I've already attached my hard drive to my free bear, which usually means screwing in here. The data cable connects here. As you can see, I've plugged in my data cable to my motherboard. The SATA data connector is located here. Now connect your power cable to your hard drive. Here. I've replaced my panels, booted up my system, and my hard drive should automatically be recognised. Voila! Bob your uncle, Fanny Durant, and I'm Nicole Knight, and you need to click subscribe. Right, I'm off for a cup in there. Another hard day's work done.